So guys, we are still on the topic, program development. Let us recall that programming is concerned with the act of giving the computer a set of instructions to perform a given task. This task, however, can be in the form of a problem that needs to be solved. And the first approach towards this is understanding the problem to be solved. The programmer needs to understand the requirements of the problem to have a guide on how to solve the problem. It is clear, however, that the inability to understand the problem to be solved will lead to inability to write the correct computer program for the problem being solved. So the next step is planning the solution. Planning allows us to determine how big and difficult the problem is and the essential elements required to solve it. During planning, we identify the inputs to the problem, the outputs required, the boundaries of the problem, and the procedure for transforming the outputs. It is also important to make use of some design tools, such as the algorithm, which we have discussed earlier. So we know that an algorithm is a sequence of operations for solving a specific type of problem, which often begins with an input value and yields an output value in a finished number of steps. So the algorithm tools are divided into two main groups, which are the algorithm written in simple human language, known as pseudocode, and the algorithm written in diagrammatic form, known as flowchart. So the next slides on your screen will show simple illustrations of a pseudocode and a flow diagram. I limited these examples to just one of each. However, in our next class, we'll consider the flow diagram in more detail. So the next step is writing the instruction, which is writing the main program. And the main aim of doing this is to transform a pseudocode code or a flow diagram into 
a set of instructions in a high-level language such as the Fortran. Here, the programmer must adhere strictly to the standard and defined rule for coding, which is called syntax. The advantage of following the standard is for uniformity of appearance, code understanding, and promotion of good programming practice. So the next step is testing the program. So when a program has been written, it is tested to detect and correct errors that may be found in it. These errors are known as bugs. So this process of detecting and correcting the errors can be also called debugging. Some program debugging techniques include brute force technique, backtracking technique, elimination technique, program slicing, etc. The errors, however, can occur as compile time error, run time error, wrong results error, etc. The compile time error is usually detected by the compiler. It can be as a result of syntax errors. Use of reserved Fortran keywords and so on. Runtime error is a type of error encountered while the program is running. Wrong results error can be as a result of use of wrong formulas, incorrect application of formulas, misplacement of operators, and stuff like that. So let's look at the types of tests that can be done in the course of programming. So they include the unit testing, the integrated testing, the white box testing, the black box testing, the alpha testing, the beta testing, and so on. But for the course of this lesson, we are going to focus on the alpha testing and the beta testing. So alpha testing is carried out by potential customers or any set of isolated group of persons at the site of development of the software. Whereas beta testing is done in a site that is not within the company. It involves sending the software to sites which are not within the company for a real world exposure or giving out the software products for a free trial download to end users in the internet. So the next step is documentation. So documentation is a very important activity in program development. Actually, this exercise should start from the first step down through all the steps discussed earlier before this. And then finally, we have deployment which involves getting your software ready for end users or bringing it up to the market. Please, if you enjoyed this video, if this video was helpful, try to support us by liking and subscribing to our channel. Also share our videos for more subscribers. You can leave your comments with us using the comment section below. Thank you.